Good evening, I'm Isabel from The Upcoming. You both look absolutely beautiful. And congratulations on your film. So um, how, did, how did the idea for the project come about? Um, the project actually came to me via um, Vice in, in the States, who I had done, they had been involved in some of my short films and they wanted to make a, um, a live action film about Punch and Judy and they asked me if I wanted to develop it with them, so it sort of came to me, I didn't take it to them, yeah. And how did you feel when you were approached for the role of Judy? I mean, obviously you've done some character work with real fantasy characters with Tim Burton and everything. Do you like that sort of dark fantasy kind of element of, of the character that you play? Yeah, I just loved the originality of the script and the story and um, I love the world that Mirrod created and um, I was just really excited about it. It was something really different and I feel like it's there's, there's, it's easy to make, real, well not easy, but you, you see a lot of great dramas um, and it's kind of harder to, to make a comedy and I just loved something about the humour in this film so I was excited about it. How did you go about the casting process? Uh, well, I knew really early on that I wanted Mia and um, I basically sidestepped all of the <laughs> protocol and ignored the agents and I just sent her the script, which, you know, seems to be how we roll a little bit in Australia. Yeah, yeah we totally. knew each other a bit before. There's always a degree of separation. Yeah, 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 so that kind of felt like an okay yeah. thing to do. And she became a, a huge champion of it, and um, uh, we, we, which was great. And we got to kind of know each other a lot better over the year that it took to get the film up. And, um, and then everyone else is Australian, all the cast are Australian. And and um, there are a lot of actors that don't always get um, screen opportunities, the theatre actors um, and people that are not normally kind of considered for, for, for screen stuff and a lot of actors that I've studied with or worked with um, and I've just kind of pulled together a lot of friends. And um, were there any challenges that you faced on set and what were they? <laughs> just the general making of film, Everything. I think. It was, I mean, every film's got its own sort of set of challenges, but um, there's the very basic ones that you kind of come across on, on all movie making, which is just like the time pressure and yeah. we were in a lot of like extreme locations. It may not look so like that, but it was stuff, a lot of really, weather stuff. Yeah. Where was it filmed? It, it, it's shot in Victoria, all around Victoria in, um, in Australia. Um, some of the locations are just outside of Melbourne and some are a couple of hours out. Um, and any projects that you're working on next? I have a couple of things on the brew, um, yeah, a couple of things that I've written that I'd like to make next, but I'm just sort of taking a minute, having a breather yeah. and seeing what the lay of the land is, yeah. Enjoy yeah. this for a while. And, and for you? Um, yeah, I've just finished a play in Australia, which is really fun, and then she was I'll, amazing in. Oh, amazing. <laughs> it was great fun. Um, and otherwise, just a few things coming out next year, but after this, heading back to Australia and enjoying summer, and yeah. Well, I guess, um, I, I mean, it was unusual in that the, the, the idea came to me, it didn't originate from me, which I think for first-time filmmakers, it's it, quite often that's something that you've been bursting to tell for a really long time, and that wasn't the case. It was something that came to me, and then I had to find a way to channel it into the version of the movie that felt representative of, of me. Um, so that just became about unpicking it from a historical perspective and figuring out what I thought was interesting and what I thought could do with a bit of a shake-up, um, and then attaching a bunch of brilliant actors to help me figure that out. Um, well, I just love the whole world. Of it. I just love the I love the world that Mira created. I love that it was period, but it wasn't sort of specific to any particular sort of set time, yeah, yeah. and that there was like a slight fantastical element, but also very sad and real. And I, I just liked this amalgamation of all these different things. So it was the whole thing really that I was just excited to be part of. Yeah, I was so lucky and I think that was largely because Vice were really taking risks and backing filmmakers and allowing filmmakers to be very kind of true to their voice and vision, which is not always the case and so I feel incredibly indebted to them for trusting me. Oh, I think it's important at all, all times um, and, you know, I guess especially now it's, it's I don't, you know, recent events have made it kind of more possible, I guess, or there's a bit more kind of consciousness around funding. You feel it, don't you? Yeah. Like you feel, you, we feel, I think, we feel yeah. like we're in the middle of a really interesting groundswell and it feels natural and it feels way too late, but it yeah. feels um, it, it feels good. Yeah. yeah. Um, I hope they love its originality and just lean into the strange world that, that Mira's created. And yeah, that's all I think. I hope they enjoy it.
Yeah, I mean, we really did set out to make a kind of joyful, irreverent movie, but there's a lot of heavy political stuff intertwined there, so I hope that it's an enjoyable experience too. It feels very exciting, but also a little bit terrifying for me, because this is the first time we'll see it with an English audience, and of course we've kind of hijacked one of your um, beloved cultural stories and turned it completely on its ass. <laughs> I, I hope you like it. Yeah, look, I, I, I tried not to feel any pressure. It was just really tough, so I think the, um, the exhaustion distracts you from any sense of what it might be. You just kind of you just try and get through it, really. I think so. I tried not to think about the pressure. I actually wasn't sure until about halfway through the writing development. Um, I assumed that Vice would want a more experienced director to, to make the movie, and I kept suggesting people. I was like, maybe this person. And then eventually they said, you know, we want you to direct it. So I was surprised, but it meant that I'd written myself into a corner. I'd written stuff that was un unshootable, and I had to figure out how to make it. <laughs> yeah, I just love that. I love the originality of it, and I love this strange world that um, you know, mirrored, created, and written. And I love the mix of different tones. Um, and the humour, I think. I just love the humour, so I was, yeah, I was excited about it. Uh, like, Mira sent me the script almost, I think, two years before we started filming, and um, I just loved it, you know, from the get-go, and we met up in Sydney and just talked about it, and, um, and then it kind of just went from there. I'm glad you think the balance is right. Yeah, it was very important, and it's a, it's a hard thing to do. I think totally when you're asking someone to laugh one moment and to be really horrified the next, it's a very kind of, you're asking an audience to kind of... Um, to ping off the walls a little bit and it, it, it's terrifying and I'm not sure you ever know whether you've achieved that right balance until you see it with an audience um, but so far they seem to be responding well. So. Yeah, it's exciting. It's so much fun. I, I yeah, I just I really love meeting other filmmakers and and also getting able to, being able to engage with a really film literate audience after the movie after they've seen the movie. You've done a lot more of these than I have, so you, it's it's just great. It's always interesting sort of gauging different cultures' reactions. Yeah, yeah. Seeing what you know different groups of people. Um, I don't know, identify with all of Yeah, it's just a really interesting kind of study. People, humanity, mm. yeah. Mm. I don't read them, but yeah, I hear they're good, so that's good. Yeah. <laughs> but it was interesting to have it land at a time where there's so much focus on, on female stories, which is, which is great, but unexpected and not, not intentional. I think we are. I think we are, and it's really exciting, and we should continue to and see all kinds of stories from all sorts of um, perspectives. I think it's really important, but I feel that's in a beautiful way at the moment. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I mean, I don't know, I, I always had a clear sense of what cover tone should feel on the page, but it is very unusual tonally, and so that was a lot of that was about trying to communicate that to my actors and to my crew. I feel like that was there from the beginning, it was just such an amazing mix of all these different tones, and um, that's part of the reason that I was so drawn to it, because I just wanted to see how it would all come together, and I felt like it was really there from the script, and it's still translated.